Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si... Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Matatag Curriculum, Mathematics, Grade 4, Quarter 2, Lesson 1. Our topic for today is about multiplying whole numbers and estimating products. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Content standards, the learners should have knowledge and understanding of multiplication of whole numbers with products up to 1 million, division up to 4 digit numbers by up to 2 digit numbers, and the MDAS rules. Performance standards, by the end of the quarter, the learners are able to Perform multiplication of whole numbers with products up to 1 million. Perform division up to 4 digit numbers by up to 2 digit numbers. And perform different operations by applying the MDAS rules. Here are the learning competencies and objectives. Number 1. Multiplying numbers with or without regrouping. A. 3 to 4 digit numbers by a 1 digit number. And B. 2 to 3 digit numbers by 2 digit numbers with products up to 1 million. Number 2. Estimate the results of multiplying two numbers where the product is less than 1 million. Here are the contents of our lesson. A. Multiplying whole numbers. B. Estimating products. Before we start our lesson, let's have first a short review. Give the product of the following. 1. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 2. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. 3, 8 times 7 is equal to 56. 4, 4 times 9 is equal to 36. 5, 7 times 7 is equal to 49. 6, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. 7, 8 times 2 is equal to 16. 8, 5 times 9 is equal to 45. Let's start with the problem opener. A civic organization would like to help a school needing chairs for the pupils. Each of the 83 member volunteers will donate 35 chairs. Here are the questions. Number 1. How many chairs will be donated in all? Number 2. How will you get the total number of donated chairs? Number 3. From the responses, which will give you the answer easily and why? Number 4. What is the answer to the problem? Now, let's answer. Number 1. How many chairs will be donated in all? The answer, to find out, multiply the number of volunteers by the number of chairs each will donate. Here's the solution, 83 times 85. Number 2, how will you get the total number of donated chairs? The answer, 
multiply the number of member volunteers, which is 83, by the number of chairs donated by each volunteer, which is 35. Number 3, from the responses, which will give you the answer easily and why? Here's the answer. The easiest way to get the answer is by multiplying the number of volunteers by the number of chairs each will donate. This is because multiplication quickly gives the total amount. Number 4. What is the answer to the problem? The answer, the total number of chairs donated is 2,905. Let's unlock content vocabulary. Here are the parts of the multiplication sentence. First, we have multiplicand. Multiplication sign, multiplier, equal sign, and the product. This shows how multiplication works by breaking down the parts of a multiplication equation. First, we have factors. The two numbers being multiplied are called factors. In this case, 15 and 3 are the factors. Second is the multiplicand. 15 is the number being multiplied. Third is the multiplier. 3 is the number by which the multiplicand is multiplied. 4 is the multiplication sign. This symbol indicates that the two numbers should be multiplied together. 5 is the equal sign. This symbol shows that what is on the left side is equal to what is on the right. Six is the product. The result of multiplying the two factors is called the product. In this example, the product of 15 and 3 is 45. Let's have the subtopic number 1. Multiplying 3 to 4 digit by 1 digit numbers without regrouping. Now, let's take a look at this picture. This is flat. 1 flat is equivalent to 100. This is long. One long is equivalent to 10. This is square. One square is equivalent to 1. Now, let's start. Find the product of 102 times 4 using pictorial representation. 102 times 4 is equal to 408. Find the product of 102 times 4 using expanded form. First, ask the learners to express 102 in expanded form. 102 times 4 is equal to 100 plus 0 plus 2 times 4. B. By distributive property, we can have 102 times 4 is equal to 100 times 4 
plus 0 times 4 plus 2 times 4 equals 400 plus 0 plus 8 and the product is 408. So, 102 times 4 is equal to 408. Find the product of 102 using standard form. 102 times 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 0 times 4 is equal to 0. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. So, the answer using standard form is 408. Let's have example number 1. Find the product of 4,132 times 2 using expanded form. By distributive property, we can have 4,132 times 2 is equals to 4,000 times 2 plus 100 times 2 plus 30 times 2 plus 2 times 2 equals 8,000 260 and 4. So we have 8,000 plus 200 plus 60 plus 4 equals 8,264. Therefore, 4,132 times 2 is equal to 8,264. Example number 2, find the product of 3,210 times 3 using standard form. Let us solve. 0 times 3 is equal to 0. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Therefore, 3,210 times 3 is equal to 9,630. For our lesson activity, find the product of the following numbers using the given method. Number 1, 332 times 2, sketch base 10 blocks. Number 2, 543 times 6, use expanded form. Number 3, 2011 times 4, use the standard form. And uh, number 4, 1,443 times 2, use the standard form. And number 5, 5,042 times 8, use the standard form. And here is the answer for number 1. 332 with 3 flats, 3 longs, and 2 squares times 2 is equal to 664. Number 2, 543 times 6, use expanded form. 543 times 6 is equal to 500 times 6 plus 40 times 6 plus 3 times 6 equals 3,000 
plus 240 plus 18 equals 3,258. Therefore, 543 times 6 is equal to 3,258. For number 3, 2011 times 4, use the standard form. 2011 times 4 is equals to 8,044. Number 4, 1,443 times 2, use the standard form. 1,443 times 2 is equal to 2,886. Number 5, 5,042 times 8, use the standard form. 5,042 times 8 is equal to 40,336. And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in.